Hey everyone, here's a simple algorithm to detect anomalies in your system. If you have some metrics that you're tracking, as you can see here, you have an X and a Y axis where the Y is plotting values and X is on time. So every second we are plotting a value. Initially it's 100 and it goes all the way down to zero. Now you can think of this as video retention time. So for a given video, in the zeroth second, there's a hundred people watching out of hundred. And in the hundredth second, there's nobody watching because the video is let's say hundred units long. Now the challenge is how do you find interesting anomalous points on this video? Now you can do this manually. You can look at instant number 84 and see that there's something odd over there. Despite the entire graph being a smooth decline, there seems to be a bump over there. So maybe there's something interesting happening there. Maybe something confusing because of which viewers are watching that again and again. But this is a manual pattern matching task, which cannot be scaled out. So what you want to now do is find a mathematical approach for detecting anomalies. And the approach is simple. You want to find points where change is odd. Okay. Well, the change is not smooth. It's a spike or a weird opposite direction change. So the first thing we do is we start noting down the changes in this graph. So for every point, we see whether there's an increase or a decrease compared to the next point. Now the entire graph is smooth and you're seeing that the slope is negative, which means if I take a dy by dx, if I differentiate this graph, if I try to find the rate of change in user retention, then I'll get something like this, which is roughly constant. Yeah, you see most of the graph when it comes to rate of drop off or the velocity in physics is constant. Now in some businesses, you have consistent rate of increase depending on the number of users you have. So for Facebook, when you say network effects, uh, if 10 people join, it's easier for the 11th person to join. And when the 11th person joins, it's even easier for the 12th to join. So at this point, you see that there is some sort of acceleration. It's an exponential growth. And this is common if you have some sort of social network or referral program, right? So what we can now do is differentiate this rate of change again to get acceleration. So at this point, it will be something like what is the change in drop off that gives you this acceleration graph, which is roughly zero in some businesses, which are having exponential growth. Like we said, this acceleration may be non zero, but it's going to be a flat line because acceleration usually is constant. If you have a stable business, it's supposed to be constant. But the thing is, if I differentiate this graph again, right, I have done three differentiations till now. One is velocity, one is acceleration. And now the final one called in physics jerk is a very weird graph. Any non-zero value here means that there is changing acceleration. And if you're in a bus and you have a sudden jerk, that's where I think the term <laughs> is inspired from. You have a jerky reaction. And so the non-zero values you see here correspond to anomalies. And have a look at timestamp number 80. You see that the original graph showed that there's something odd there and the anomaly has been detected at that timestamp. So now mathematically, instead of manually, you are able to detect anomalies. You can do this through a computer, which is just going to differentiate the graph again and again till it finds anomalies. And a better example would be over here. You can clearly see spikes in this graph. You differentiate it once you get this pretty spiky graph in terms of velocity also. But like we said, we are doing this in a mathematical way. So we just differentiate it again, get a super spiky graph in terms of acceleration. And finally, the last differentiation gives us all these anomalous points. We can have a threshold value after which we report these points, these jerky points as anomalies. So you can see that again, timestamp 80, timestamp 30 and 48 are pretty strange. And the original graph shows that. So this is how you can detect anomalies in real time. If you're more interested in observability, anomalies, logging, then a new chapter at Interview Ready is coming out, which is going to dive into this in detail. That will be released on the 5th of November. And I hope to see you there. All the best. I'll see you soon.